The majority of the UK population has now been vaccinated with a coronavirus jab and the picture looks positive, ICU wards are a far cry from what they were at the height of the pandemic. While a combination of natural immunity and mass vaccinations are likely responsible for turning the tide on the pandemic, vaccine immunity may never come to fruition, warned Danny Altman, professor of immunology at Imperial College London. When Professor Altman was asked about the prospect of the virus dying out on Times Radio, he was loath to say it will definitely happen. He said, that's still kind of true. More vaccination means more people carrying antibodies means fewer susceptible people, which means fewer lungs for the virus to be in, which means less pandemic. So, it hasn't all gone out of the window. But nobody said this virus had to be simple. Are you eligible for a free flu jab? Rollout begins this week he added, there's Delta at the moment, there may well be other worse ones coming round the curve, and they impact the effectiveness of the vaccines and change their calculations. Professor Altman is not alone in his outlook. Giving evidence to MPs on Tuesday, Professor Sir Andrew Pollard, head of the Oxford Vaccine Group, said the fact that vaccines did not stop the spread of COVID meant reaching the threshold for overall immunity in the population was mythical. Professor Pollard continued, The problem with this virus is, it is, not measles. If 95% of people were vaccinated against measles, the virus cannot transmit in the population, he told the all-party parliamentary group, APPG, on coronavirus. Guy Martin on his diagnosis, Insight Popular Supplement raises risk of arterial fibrillation, tips high blood pressure, popular fruit can raise your risk, Insight, the Delta variant will still infect people who have been vaccinated. And that does mean that anyone who is still unvaccinated at some point will meet the virus, and we don't have anything that will, completely, stop the transmission. It is worth noting that the evidence overwhelmingly supports getting vaccinated. Data from Public Health England PHE, shows COVID-19 vaccines are highly effective against hospitalization from the Delta B. 1.617.2 variant. The analysis shows the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine is 96% effective and the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is 92% effective against hospitalization after two doses. But it is still possible to catch coronavirus if you've been vaccinated and experience a range of symptoms. Nonetheless, the vaccines have been shown to mitigate the worst effects of the virus. Unvaccinated people are at risk of becoming seriously ill or having long-term effects, otherwise known as long COVID. The COVID-19 vaccines are therefore the best way to protect yourself and others. Research has shown the vaccines help reduce your risk of getting seriously ill or dying from COVID-19 Reduce your risk of catching or spreading COVID-19 Protect against COVID-19 variants The first dose should give you some protection from 3 or 4 weeks after you've had it But, as the NHS notes, you need 2 doses for stronger and longer lasting protection the COVID-19 vaccines approved for use in the UK have met strict standards of safety, quality and effectiveness. Related articles Pfizer COVID vaccine, the side effect more common after second dose flu jab could protect against severe COVID-19, study finds COVID vaccine warning, jabs could lead to color change in fingers.